What's up, guys? So, I think I'm going to go back to the four speed. Uh, the reason is, uh, doing more research on the six speed and the way the variable force solenoids work. Uh, there's a microcontroller, not really a microcontroller, but there's an IC that does all this fancy stuff, creates some jitter and some other fancy things to allow the solenoid to operate correctly. And it's quite a bit of a task. So essentially we'd have to build a tranny controller separate from using the Mega Squirt hardware to drive it. So I'm just not ready to go down that path right now. I really need to just drive the car. Um, since the motor's fresh, I need to just put some miles, miles on the motor and make sure that it's, it's good to go. So I think I'm just going to yank the second 6R80 out and go ahead and put in the very dirty 4R70W. Uh, I'll probably just take it to the car wash and spray all the mud off of it. But get it set up to get put back in the car. If I'm feeling froggy, I might do that this weekend. But uh, I really just need to start driving the car some more. So I think I'll, I'll revisit the six speed later. I just don't know how far later. Um, I do want to do a Mercedes V12, an M120 out of like a mid 90s Mercedes. And my thinking was if I sorted out the six speed, I could always put it behind a Mercedes motor. Um, that's still an option because the Mercedes motor was just going to be a, like an all-out race car. Uh, it wasn't going to be a street-driven car. No, it'd probably become a street-driven car just because that's the way it works. You don't start out with small boost and expect to stay at, at low boost forever. Usually like a day or two in it and you're making 20 pounds. It's just the way it works. So I can see the Mercedes would, be, would do exactly that if I ever went that route. But so it sucks it's been almost a year since i came up with the idea and then i bought the first transmission actually it's been over a year because i bought the first transmission in july so i made a bunch of progress still fighting the, tr the drive shaft and the weird little vibrations that it's doing still haven't quite figured that out yet if it's pinion angle or i don't know there's just a lot to sort out by myself um, on the weekends or even after work and whatnot. So I think that's where I'm at. I'm gonna get the old turd, uh, put the four speed back in it with that 3000 stall converter from Roadrunner up in Phoenix and uh, just start driving it again. I think that's the plan for right now. So sorry to disappoint that I didn't get this 100% sorted out. It's like 98% there, it's just so close. But I think the, the, the last little bit is actually developing the right hardware and the control theory and I found some papers written by some folks in Asia and maybe even Europe that developed the ZF transmission in the first place this is based off of and because I think it's what a, a ZPH 26 or some crap like that I have to look the numbers up but uh, the control theory of releasing a clutch and applying the next one uh, there's some overlap and I just don't think I can get that overlap sorted out with my programming skills plus the hardware so I don't know maybe I'll, I'll revisit this down the road a little ways but that's pretty much my update I have another video that shows all the short little clips of all the processes and all all the other videos I've released over the last year uh, short little clips of those all kind of sync together to kind of show the process. I'll release that one shortly too. So thanks for the 145 subscribers. Um, I'll continue releasing videos, hopefully get to the drag strip shortly and uh, do other car mods. Like I want to put larger rims in the back. I got some uh, 17 by eights. The offset's kind of goofy, so I'm not really sure what I'm going to do there, but I don't know. I'll keep posting stuff as I go. Thanks. Bye. So one last test drive, local cruising, they hang out Friday nights, and uh, so we're just going to go see what they're doing for a little bit and then we'll head back to them. 